video is going out to all those booty shakers and pop, lock, and drop it freaks out there that decided to put on their drawers or the smallest pair of shorts that they could find in their closet and shake it like a salt shaker all over the internet. Just a little piece of my mind I wanted to put out there. Watch it if you want to watch it, and if you don't agree, you don't have to watch it. I'm not forcing you. Um, you are not going to become some type of video star. They are not looking online on the YouTube to pick up folks, to put them in the videos, and say, oh, let me contact this girl on the video and put her in a major motion picture to make her an actress. Or, Pippa Diddy is not looking on YouTube to find his new star to come on to the you come off the YouTube and come into his new video to become this brand new rump shanking star. So in all honesty, all you're doing is making it harder for yourself in the future because you are not going to become a star on the internet, first of all. Second of all, if you do aspire to be anything more than a YouTube rump shaker, then you're going to try to go get an education or try to go get a job. And if you do get that far in life, if your employer gets on the YouTube one day and sees their employee dropping it like it's hot on the internet, you're probably going to get suspended without pay, if not terminated on the spot because it's a very bad look for that company to have aspiring video stars all over the internet. Like take for instance, if you wanna be a teacher and you become this, you do this when you're 16, 17 years old and then you grow up, you know, you're like 28 years old or something. You finally graduate from school, get a job, you're a real teacher, you know, had to struggle the whole way, pick your whole way through college, you finally get there. And your principal is online one day and he is scrolling through dance videos or how to dance videos, because you're all gonna have some kind of dance shindig party, whatever. And he's trying to figure out how to do the shake it or whatever. And he sees his first grade teacher online doing the pop lock and drop it in a draws I don't think that he would want to keep you around because that would you would represent the school and you would represent him and you can't represent them and be out here on the internet because take well, let, 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 let me think of another example if you have a first grader or a kindergartner who's online fooling around let's say they see Miss Apple pop lock and dropping it on the internet and they show their mommy and daddy and their mommy or daddy is the head of the PTA then you're screwed you're not gonna you're screwed for the rest of your life because you can't get this off of here even if you delete it and somebody has already seen it and it goes off a of word of mouth or let's say somebody figures out how to save it or adds it to their favorites or what have you either way you are now forever known on the internet as the pop, lock, and drop it freak, the salt shaking, hoochie ho, and you can never erase that. That will forever be damaging to your reputation. So I would hope that you take this into consideration the next time that you decide to get on there and shake it like a salt shaker or become one of these freak leaks because it can damage you for the rest of your life. And I very seriously doubt that you are going to be picked up by these stars that we see on MTV and BET off of YouTube, especially you 16, 17 years old. Like, go go get a real job. Do your homework. Look on, be on the YouTube looking for your homework, how to do math problems. Or something like that. And you know what? Most of y'all on here that have all these pop, lock, and drop it stuff going on, on on your sites, like a lot of us 
a lot of the guys that live in my neighborhood and a lot of the girls too when something like that comes up we sit and we laugh at you we laugh at you guys and we talk about how you guys will be screwed for the rest of your lives and where was your mama or where was your daddy at to tell you how much of an impact this can have on the rest of your life this is not something you can erase this this you're not cool that doesn't make you cool that makes you stupid it makes you it's so nasty especially you you know i'm not even gonna say that <laughs> i'm not even gonna say that about them and, but it's a whole another one of y'all that's in a whole separate category that have no business on there in those outfits and them draws anyway y'all need to go to, to not the, the youtube but to the the what is it called the the you the you porn that's the, what site you guys need to be on pop like and dropping it because your whole booty is hanging out and and i just don't think you should do anything on here that you wouldn't do in front of your mama or in front of your daddy because they could one day see this just think about that the next time you decide to get on here and that's all for today.